Hello, my name is Charlie Haffey, and I am an elementary science teacher for the Norwood Public Schools. The title of today's show is Gravitational Potential Energy. With ramps, potential energy is a form of energy that is stored or hidden inside an object. And one type of energy can be changed or transformed into another type of energy. To give an object gravitational potential energy, all you have to do is lift an object up into the air. And that kinetic energy, that motion of you lifting the object, if you place that object on a shelf or on the top of a ramp, then that object has gravitational potential energy. Gravity can pull down now that you've lifted it up in the air. We say that when an object is at the top of the ramp, it only has gravitational potential energy. When it goes to the bottom of the ramp, there is no more gravitational potential energy. All that potential energy has been converted at the bottom of the ramp into kinetic energy. It gets a little complicated at the bottom of the ramp, but not terribly difficult for us to understand. We're going to have two marbles going down ramps. And we're going to say that the energy that the marble has at the bottom of the ramp can be measured by how far it's going to move an object. So at the bottom of the ramp, I'm going to have this little car that we use in physics class. It's called a Hall's car. It was invented by a very famous physicist called Monty Hall. So this Hall's car is going to be at the bottom of the ramp. And I'm going to take two mega marbles. Right? So here I have a wooden mega marble. And here I have a metal mega marble. And I'm going to roll them down a ramp. And at the bottom of the ramp, they're going to crash into the Hall's car. And then we're going to see how far the Hall's car moves. And we'll say that the farther the Hall's car moves, the more energy the marble had that hit it, and the more energy that a marble had at the bottom of the ramp was determined by more gravitational potential energy at the top of the ramp. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to be using today for my ramp a classroom ruler. The reason I like this, it has a groove going right down the middle of the ruler. Makes it perfect for rolling down marbles. To measure the height of the ramp, I'm going to be using Duplos. Now we have a lot of Legos and I'm sure you have a lot of Legos too. But these Duplos, okay, um, they're a standard height. So one Duplo, two Duplos is going to be twice the height of one Duplo. Four Duplos is going to be twice the height of du two Duplos. You get it? Okay. We're going to roll the marbles down the ramp, and we're going to let them bump into that Hall's car. Now, we're going to do two experiments here. The first experiment, we're going to keep the marble ramp height the same. The ramp for the marbles is going to be one Duplo high. We're going to roll down the wooden marble, measure the distance, and then what we're going to do is put the car back, and then we're going to see if the metal marble rolling down, if that is going to make the car go a shorter, the same, or a longer distance. We're going to compare the distances between the two, and we're going to say that when the car moves the farthest, that that marble that hit it had more gravitational potential energy. The second experiment I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the marble type the same, but this time change the height of the ramp. The second experiment is going to be just with the metal marble. And I'm going to roll it down a ramp that's one, then two, then three, then four Duplos high. Then we'll be able to figure out what are ways that you can increase the gravitational potential energy of a marble? We're going to start by taking a look at a few different types of potential energy.
Here I have a spring-loaded bug toy. I compress the spring potential energy. That's transformed into kinetic energy. Here I'm stretching a rubber band potential energy. That can be converted into OW! Here I have a battery with stored chemical energy. If I attach a light bulb to the terminals, the chemical energy is transformed into light. Here I have a balance. On one side, I put the wooden marble. On the other side, I put the metal marble. The metal marble has more mass, it's heavier. Let's take a look at different marbles. The ramp height stays the same. Here we have the wood marble. The ramp is one duplo high. Now we'll look at the metal marble. The ramp is the same height. Now we're going to change the heights of the ramps. The marble is going to stay the same. Let's look at the metal marble. The ramp is one duplo high. The same metal marble, the ramp now is two duplos high. The same metal marble, the ramp is now three duplos high. We're going to finish with the metal marble. The ramp is now four duplos high. The results. When the ramp was one duplo high, the wood marble moved the car a distance of three centimeters. The metal marble moved the car a distance of 27 centimeters. The results for the metal marble. When the ramp was one duplo high, the metal marble moved the car a distance of 27 centimeters. Two duplos high, 62 centimeters. Three duplos high, 82 centimeters. Four duplos high, 96 centimeters. Well, I gotta tell you, I had a lot of fun doing those experiments. I mean, being a science teacher and rolling marbles down ramps and letting them hit a car and just seeing how far that goes, that's a lot of fun. I had a great time. There are two ways that you can increase the gravitational potential energy of an object. The first way is to make the object more massive, or, if you want, make the object heavier. The second way to make an object have more gravitational potential energy is to simply to lift it higher into the air. The higher the object on the ramp, the more gravitational potential energy it'll have, when it gets to the bottom of the ramp, it'll have more energy than before. And at the bottom, other things can be explained, but we just really looked at how far the car got moved. So we found the car got moved the farthest in the first experiment by the more massive or the heavier marble. And in the second experiment, we found that the car got moved by the marble that rolled down from the tallest height. That's our show. Thanks for watching.